David Fafita has turned his back on the Roosters and their powerful chairman, Nick Politis, announcing today he's re-signed with the Gold Coast Titans. Fafita's backflip comes just days after he'd personally told Politis he was coming to the Roosters. It didn't take long for the nickname to emerge. He's now being referred to as David Flipfita. The Titans never gave up hope. He's a Queenslander. He likes the environment. He's playing good footy. I was always optimistic that Dave would stay with us. We love working with him. Nine News has seen a text message exchange between Chairman Nick Politis and Fafita at 4.30pm last Thursday after he agreed to join. Nick Politis saying, thank you, rooster for life. David Fafita responded, you welcome, Nick. Des Hasler had been working on Fafita from that time. He held discussions with Fafita yesterday and swayed him. The Roosters say he was coerced. Their beef, the talks took place without an agent present. At 10pm last night, the Roosters were told there was an issue and Fafita had cold feet. Fafita's management were due to fly back to the Gold Coast to talk to their client at 2pm today. But the Roosters put out a statement at 7.40am saying they were withdrawing their offer and made the point on that release they were approached to sign him. They're privately relieved. I think, personally, I think Roosters have dodged a bullet. Dodged a bullet? I think they've dodged a bullet. I don't think he was going to suit them. I really don't. I, I, I found it a strange signing for them. The Titans know what it's like to be the victim of a backflip. Daily Cherry Evans famously stayed at Manly in 2015. The Titans say time to reflect and family were big reasons for Fafita staying. Dave's real experience was the week, giving him a chance to actually process where he'll be, what that means. His family's critical to him, it's a really big part of it. His mum and his grandmother come to the games regularly, his family engage with all their club events. Danny Weidler, Nine News. Jerome Luai has been a familiar face in the Blues lineup over the past few years, but the 5'8's name has barely been mentioned in the lead up to this year's series. Today, Panther skipper Isaiah Yo defended and endorsed the polarising playmaker as the Premiers prepare for life without Nathan Cleary. Storming off, his origin dream shattered. Teammates steered clear of a devastated Nathan Cleary in the sheds last Friday night. I had the hoodie on. Uh, sort of just have to give him his space sort of thing. Yeah, disappointing. It was disappointing for him off the back of just Penrith, but then he had a pretty big sort of month or two coming up as well. There. Yeah, so I guess the reality of all that probably just hit him all that one time. The halfback hamstrung, Panthers 5'8", Jerome Luai, almost forgotten. The playmaker appears to have fallen down the Blues pecking order. I think sometimes we can make scapegoats for different people, I and mean, he probably was one for us over the last few years. He, I don't feel like he definitely didn't deserve that, but you know, he takes it in his stride really well. He's won a series there, and he's done a wonderful job there um, for New South Wales, so uh, I'm sure if given the opportunity, he'll do a great job there as well. Probably a good couple of weeks for him to just really yeah, stamp his authority and really push his case. Incumbent Blues halfback Mitch Moses will have one match at best to impress Michael Maguire. The eel still sidelined after undergoing foot surgery seven weeks ago. He showcased what he does in the Origin Arena and we saw that last year, so um, he'll be ready no matter what if he gets the call up. As for Junior Balor's own Origin chances? Uh, fill up my form, just wants to get, find a way to win for us here at Para. The women's first three-game Origin series kicks off tomorrow night at Suncorp Stadium. The Sky Blues driven by last year's series loss on points differential. It was a bit of a surreal feeling last year, winning obviously up at Townsville and uh, having a draw, but then having to stand back and, and watch Queensland take the shield um, because of four points, basically. Zach Bailey, Nine News. Wayne Bennett has taken another significant step towards rejoining the Rabbitohs, meeting with club officials and agreeing to terms. Bennett is scheduled to have more discussions on the weekend where he is expected to finalise a three-year deal worth in excess of $3 million. South today, through their support behind the NRL, which has proposed an indefinite ban for two fans accused of racially vilifying Latrell Mitchell and Cody Walker at Cogra last weekend. Ricky Stewart has signed a new four-year deal at the Raiders, which will keep him in charge of the green machine until the end of 2029. There's not a coach out there that um, doesn't want to win a premiership. They just don't know will say it because it puts too much pressure on them. I'm happy to put pressure on myself. I want to win a competition and I want to win at this club. 
It's been 22 years since Stewart led the Roosters to his one and only premiership as coach and five years since he took Canberra to the 2019 Grand Final.